Your Grace. Your Grace. Please, sit. Sit. I do apologize, my lady. Small council meetings. At what point has become treason to waste the king's time? <laughs> It's a lovely gown, my lady. Yes, it suits you perfectly. I imagine you might be rather cold. The climate is a bit more forgiving back in High Garden, Your Grace. Shall I have them bring you ashore, my lady? I am touched by your concern, Your Grace. Luckily for us, Terrells, our blood runs quite warm, doesn't it, Loris? Yes. Loris, isn't the Queen's gown magnificent? The fabric, the embroidery. The metalwork, I've never seen anything like it. You might find a bit of armor quite useful once you become queen, perhaps before. Joffrey tells me you stopped your carriage at Flea Bottom on your way back from the Sept this morning. Yes. I paid a visit to an orphanage the High Septon told me about. Marjorie does a great deal of work with the poor back in Highgard. The lowest among us are no different from the highest if you give them a chance and approach them with an open heart. An open heart is what you'll get in Flea Bottom if you're not careful, my dear. Not long ago, we were attacked by a mob there. We had a full complement of guards. It didn't stop them. The king barely escaped with his life. My mother's always had a penchant for drama. Facts become less and less important to her as she grows older. Our lives were never truly in danger. You're right, of course. But you were your father's son. We can't all have a king's bravery. Hunger turns men into beasts. I'm glad House Tyrell has been able to help in this regard. They tell me a hundred wagons arrive daily now from the Reach. Wheat, barley, apples. We've had a blessed harvest. And of course, it's our duty to assist the capital in time of need. Well... As Sir Laura said, Lady Marjorie has done this sort of uh, charitable work before. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. I'm sure she does. 